Alex Boy Poker Vlog number I don't know which one, but uh let's get into some hands. One three table, I get five hundred forty effective behind me, sitting with pocket kings on a button with a horrible image. Five limps to me, I make it twenty, small blind quickly makes it fifty five, everyone folds to me. I call. This guy has a really tight image, but uh since I have a hand, I'm just gonna let him uh barrel it through. Flop is 10-6 deuce rainbow. He leads instantly for 135. I'm like, well, I don't want him to uh, see me call 135. That's kind of weird. Um, and then go check, check on a turn and river. So I'm just going to go all in right now. So I go all in for 350 more effective. He pretends like he's going to fold. He didn't release his cards. Then I tell him my aces are under repped. Um, but if he hits his over card to my ace, he's good, which is impossible because there's no such thing. Uh, he would have quickly called if he had an over pair to the flop or if he t flopped any pair. But uh, I think because my speech was hilarious, he ended up calling probably with ace high. The turn pairs the 10 and the river is a deuce. He instantly mucks and I profit $30 out of this whole session. After being in for a thousand forty. Two days later, I'm down seven hundred fifty on the one two table, so I transfer to the five five PLO table with three hundred dollars. Second hand, I get a hand where the under the gun straddles to ten dollars, and I look down at ace ten nine deuce single suited ace ten, and I limp. A few others limp after me, before the straddler makes it fifty five. I call, all the other limpers call, pot's about 275, flop comes 10 deuce deuce with 2 clubs, checks to me, I shove, 235 effective, I get called for less by 2 people, and uh, Razor calls my, he has me covered so he calls, pot is now about $1103 after rake, we run it twice, the first one came queen 4 of, with a club, the second one came ace eight with a club. Before anybody can show their flush, I say I have a boat on each one. And uh, they all muck. And uh, I leave with 1,083, a $33 win that session. In 4,000, I have about 300 effective this hand. I have queen three offsuit. I raise under the gun to $15. Yes, I said that right. I raised the $15 under the gun with queen three offsuit. I get three callers. Flop is three of clubs, three of diamonds, six of clubs. Small blind checks to me. I bet $5 to keep everybody's uh, cards in there. I get two callers. Turn is a nine of diamonds, bringing two flush draws. Small blind checks. I bet $30. So hopefully now if anybody gets a draw or uh, anything, they'll uh, get get more money in there. Hopefully I can get hit a boat or something. So uh, middle position folds. Small blind tells me he hit the board. So before he calls, I said, I'll show you a card if I can choose one of your cards. Now, if the players are OCD, they'll put the higher card on top. Um, so I naturally chose the bottom card. And it happened to be a 9. So I think he has 9 with a good kicker. Top 2 pair with a good kicker, basically. Top 2 pair being aces, but obviously he doesn't have that. I show my queen. And uh, then he calls my $30. River is a three of hearts, bringing three threes on the board. I now have quads. Small blind bets into me with his nine showing two dollars. Then I make a speech saying how the pot is so big and I might as well try to buy it since I don't like chopping the pot. And then I decide on a hundred and twenty five dollar bet with green chips. He snap calls for most of his stack. I show, then he's like, how are you going to milk your neighbor for that much when I'm showing you my hand? 
I took the high hand, which happened to be his wife's high hand currently, and he got super pissed. So uh, I ended up losing my stack and having to buy in for that $400 high hand money. And uh, I'm down to my last $100, and then this happens. So in for $1,400, have 100 effect of this hand transferred to uh, the table after I lost 300 I get pocket queens in the big blind, second hand in, two limps. I raise to $17, get two callers. Flop comes, king of clubs, eight of clubs, three of diamonds. I figure with one over card, three ways, I'm not uh, shutting down. And I want to charge all the eights and uh, get potential ace highs to fold out. So I bet uh, $20 get raised to 50 which is odd because this guy who raised me to 50 knows me so if he's making a play on me um i don't know i just gotta pay it off because i only buy in for 100 and i'm not folding second pair for 100 so i just call the turn as 10 of clubs giving me a reason to shove my last 33 dollars since i have a flush draw any queen any club i think i'm good he calls, shows a king, rivers a five of clubs. I binked it, show him pocket queens, and win. Very next hand, I have 215 effective. I get four five offsuit. I limp under the gun. Next to act is a tight Asian player, skinny with glasses probably in his late 20s. He raises to $17, that's his standard open. I call. Flop is 2-3 jack rainbow. I check. The pre-flop raiser bets $35. Folds to me. I call. Turn is an offsuit ace. I bet $35. Now, I bet the ace because if he has pocket queens, pocket kings, queen jack or king jack, he's probably checking back this ace because it makes the board more coordinated. If he has ace jack, he's likely to raise. If he barreled with ace king or ace queen, he's likely to call. If he has nothing at all and is on a draw himself, I want him to call. So me putting money, piling money into the pot allows me to uh, get the money in on the river. He actually goes into the tank a little bit, then calls the $35. The river is an 8, does nothing to the board. I shove for 128 effective, giving him 2 to 1 odds. He goes into the tank even longer and eventually calls. I think I took the best line here. Uh, let me know in the comments below how would you play that. I figured he'd stay in and give him the opportunity to raise. So uh, I show my straight and it's good. And he's like, nice play. So in that last hand, he ended up showing me ace-queen. So I think I definitely took the best line since he had a one-pair hand. He could have been afraid of ace-jack, pocket-jacks, and uh, any sets. So um, I think he would have checked behind and probably put a little value bet on the river if uh, I went it went check-check. So this next hand, about an hour later... I pick up 6-7 offsuit, I raise it to $7, about middle position. I get re-raised to $25 by the same person who had a king last time when I had pocket queens. And uh, I like playing hands against him. Somebody else called, giving me a perfect reason to put $25 in to try to win 50 more. And uh, go three ways to a flop of 6-6-7. The second gen flop, where I check it um, to the guy because I think he's on tilt because I took his money last time, and he continued for $35. I already know where this is going. So the other guy folds. I call. Next card comes a four, completing like straight draws and uh, puts a flush draw out there. And if he had any low card, he's probably going to spaz out. 
And I check, and that's exactly what he does. He spaz over a bet, $160 jam all in. I cover him and snap and show. And he's like, you hit the six for real? I'm like, no, I have a boat on the flop. And he's like, how did you play 6-7 offsuit for $25 preflop? I'm like, I raised preflop, and the other guy called. I like money, and I have a lot of money in front of me. So, yeah. Last hand, I'm in for $1,400. And uh, playing 1-2 one, with 1,279 effective. There's uh, one player that covers me this hand, has over 1,500. I have Jack-10 offsuit on the button. Two limpers to me, I raise it up to $8. I get the blinds and the two others to call. Flop comes, 10-6-10. Checks to me, I bet $15 to keep everything in. The two people that call that are not in the blinds uh, called. The turn comes, a jack, I now have the second nut boat. They check to me, I still keep it small to keep their straight draws in, backdoor flush draws in. So I bet $20, they both call. River comes, a queen of spades, bringing a flush and a straight, possibly. So, 8-9 um, gets there, because 8-9 on the flop was a gut shot, needed a 7. Now has a queen high straight. Now, the guy, first guy, the limper, bets $25, so I instantly put him on 8-9, and the other guy calls, so I am thinking if, if I bet too large, it will obviously look like a flush or a boat, and uh, the guy has about 260, the one who led, so I bet 105, he calls, and the other guy folds. I show and I win and uh, cash out a couple hands later. Um, I ended up profiting this session with seventy-six dollars, cashed out fourteen seventy-six. Very deep one-two.